Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Prey. We are picking up just outside Morgan's office. For those of us, uh, those of you who saw the last episode, we've been told by ourselves that we need to scuttle the station, that there's no chance that it can be saved and that it's not a good idea to not, well basically not try. Um, main reason being, if a single cell of the Typhons get back to Earth, apparently it's all over. It's game over. It's lost. That includes us. We're not getting off the station alive. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, that stuff burns after contact. That's not good. Yeah, so we've been told to scuttle the station at all costs. Uh, we've also been told that our key that we would normally use to activate our half of the destruction system is being trashed by our brother, um, by Alex, and he's going to stop at nothing basically to kill us. Reason, or not to kill us, but to stop us scuttling the station. Reason being, he's he's got a massive fear of failure. He's got a massive fear of failure and is afraid of going back to Earth with his tail between his legs. To the point where he's willing to risk the entire human race. Talk about having a complex. We are going to head towards the lifts, which will take us to Psychotronics. That's our next stop. And if I get the opportunity, I think I've got some weapon upgrade kits. Let's see if we can put them to good use. I'm going to upgrade the shotgun to carry another ammo, uh, another round of ammo in the, in the clip and yeah didn't, didn't think we'd be able to upgrade the wrench that would just be a bit silly mm. handling maybe the pistol yeah we're gonna get the pistol upgraded as well going to need gunsmith one for a lot of the rest of the upgrades that we want to put in. Um, I don't know whether we're going to go for that or not. We don't have many, well, we don't have any neuromods at the moment. And we do require a few for that. We'll see how we get on. So aiming to go downstairs there, psychotronics. Not liking the sound of that. There's something around. Where's the quickest way to get down there? It's probably actually the way that we've come this way. Through Morgan's office and down the stairs. Should be able to drop from this height without yep, any damage at all. Any fall damage. No fall damage from this height. <clears throat> Despite the fact well, I dunno, you could probably fall from that height and not cause yourself injury. I wouldn't want to try it, but you could probably do it. We already know that down here has been pretty much cleared out thanks to our lovely turret friend from earlier. See, even coming down here now, I'm realising there's bits and pieces we missed the first and second time through. It's good in some ways, not in others. I'm going to hit the security office, which is up here, before we go to Psychotronics, before we go to the new area. Because <clears throat> I want to see how we're doing on finding the members of the station. Crew. There's still quite a few. There's still a few that are alive. We haven't seen them, so we're going to have to keep an eye out. There are a lot of life signs still unaccounted for. And I might double, try, uh, double back through those at some point. Oops. But for now... Yeah, we're going to leave it for now. So we're going to head to Psychotronics. Which is a completely new area to us. God knows what we might encounter. All we know is that it's where the uh, Typhon first broke containment. Good morning, Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having May trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. 
That's a good point. That's just reminded me that we upgraded our hacking skill last time round. So there's likely to be a few bits and pieces that we couldn't hack before that we can now. Now, is it worth us going back to our previous area and having a look? Or not? Mm. Difficult to say. I think I am going to have a quick look back here. If there's nothing, never mind. But we might find a few extra neuromods hidden around. Got myself a lovely glass of old J rum with some coke tonight. Lovely. Haven't had it in a while. It's really, really tasty rum. It's one of mine and my partner's favourites. So. Huh. There's quite a few mimics in here. I don't think they were here earlier. Still, you little bugger. Ah! Wow. Jesus. One attack off screen and that's just massively, massively injured us. Let's have a look and see what stasis is currently affecting us. Suit damage. Okay, fair enough. We've got some suit repair kits, I think. Uh, that one there, isn't it? Yep. Let's use it. There we go. Let's put it mostly up. All right, we're going to have to go and deal with those. Keep our eyes open. Maybe we can find a way upstairs. Although we've been up there once, we used the glue cannon earlier over there. Maybe that's a good idea again. Go and deal with those motherfuckers. Yeah, I can see there's one phantom up there. Damn, didn't manage to scan him and get him on the system. There's a mimic nearby as well. Right there. That's that mimic taken care of. Okay, we can actually hack this now, so it's probably going to be worth us giving it a go. Being a level 2, again, we need to get two of these points down inside of the time. Just in time. Didn't expect it to pop up with an X this time around. Okay, send help please. We're locked in here. Graves have overridden the door, uh, door locks and there's no way out of fabrication. We're in the research office upstairs. I'm with Snow and Divya. Graves' light is on. I can see him moving around in his office, but he's not responding. Got a couple of utilities as well. Skill recorder. Can't seem to do anything with those. But we can get the map. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay. See about going upstairs and taking care of that phantom that most definitely was not there earlier. <coughs> Using the glue mod as a bridge, just like we did before. A little bit stuck in the corner, but never mind. And that's it, we're up. Let's go and take care of those guys, shall we? Source of fabrication, which we can't get into. We need level 4 access, and we have no keycard for it. That's a shame. Level 4 hacking skill, that's, that's quite high. There's the phantom. This one's level 2, we can get through there, but we don't actually need to, because we've got a card got the code. Press the wrong button there, that's what I needed to do. Hit the number pad to type that in quickly. We're going to go and take care of that phantom first.
Well, that probably could have gone better. But it certainly could have gone worse. Fortunately, we can put to use some of this food that we've been picking so much up of. Having said that, we are blowing through it at a rate of knots. Mm hmm, okay. Have to keep some eye, uh, keep an eye out for some more. That's weird. This guy doesn't have a name. And this is somewhere we didn't experience earlier on. This is not somewhere we found. Hooray for exploration and new areas! Don't know if anything will be up here. There's another hatch over there. There's a guy over there. And okay, good. I can walk on this. Can't pick up that one. I'll try and get it in a second. Junior Bookman. Corpse. Not much on him. Not much of use. Okay, so we're going to head back in this direction and see where the other maintenance hatch takes us. Locked. Locked from the other side. Shoot. That's a shame. Well, the room that we opened a minute ago with the access code may give us access into the, that part. There's also one more... Okay, it's in the other room. There's one more room. And this is a level two, so we're going to give it a go. And there we go. Took a bit of a shock, but got through it. explore this room, f uh, this way first, shall we? This is volunteer testing, okay. Volunteer testing for what? There's a mimic there. I don't know if he just went through that door or if he stayed in the room, but there's definitely one around. Damn it! He got away. Oh shit, there's another phantom over there. Killed the box. Box is definitely dead. Idea. Holy shit, this guy's strong. My god, these guys are tough. <sighs> they were a lot tougher than I was expecting them to be. Gonna have to be a bit more careful around them. We're not quite as strong as we could be. Um, we've sort of focused in areas that are non-combat, so why I keep taking these things on in face-to-face, -face, I don't know. But that guy was really strong. <clears throat> Took a lot to put him down. Take that. 
probably going to need some more rounds for the glue cannon relatively soon. I'm doing alright at the moment, but uh, it's always handy to have some more. Neuromod insulation and extraction. Okay, well, let's see where this takes us. That's not at all creepy, that chair. <clears throat> but neuromod insulation and extraction, there's a good chance there'll be some neuromods in here somewhere. Neuroscan, patient not available, procedure not available, cortical area not available, neuromod SKU not available. Patient connectome must be updated with a recent neural scan in order to perform a successful aptoregressive neurotomy. Surgical procedure, the this procedure will extract a designated neuromod from the subject, returning the subject's memory to a period before the extracted neuromod was installed. Debrief. TS Neurosurgical System 1. Uh, version 1.8. Subject may be confused upon awakening from their aptoregressive neurotomy, neuromod extraction, and could show erratic behavior. The following audio will assist patients in understanding what has happened and ease their shock. Hello, volunteer. My name is Bianca Goodwin. I'm the volunteer and guest liaison aboard Talos 1. I wanted to be the first person to congratulate you when you woke. On behalf of everyone at Transtar, well done and thank you. I'm sure you feel disoriented. This is because you've just experienced a medical procedure known as apto-regressive neurotomy. For the next few hours, you might have trouble with fine motor skills or recalling details. More importantly, your memory of the tests is completely gone. But don't worry. I want you to know your willing participation was a piece valuable information for our scientists and engineers. So, please, rest easy for now. Once you feel well enough, I'll come by to conduct your exit interview. See you soon. Hello, volunteer. Huh. My name is Bianca Goodwin. I'm the volunteer and guest liaison aboard Tyler's One. I wanted to be the first person to Compliment kits are excellent. On behalf of everyone at Transdark, <laughs> well done and thank you. I'm sure you feel disoriented. Yeah, take that. You've just experienced There's a another one, procedure I think. Don't know where, but I thought I heard something. We'll keep our eyes open. More importantly, your memory Have the other make it. Uh, nice. We haven't come across any radiation yet, but I'm sure we will at some point. So I need to have something to hand. Anything else in here? Just checking. I'm kind of disappointed there's no neuromods in here, to be honest. Um, I figured we'd see one or two hidden away. But no, apparently not. I'm sure you feel disoriented. Having said that, this is because you've just experienced a medical procedure known as no, I'm not sure I could get up there, but for the next few hours, you might have trouble with fine motor skills mm, or just recalling get one of the details. Tape, tape decks. More importantly, your memory of real the cabinets is completely gone. But don't worry. I want you to know your willing participation <clears throat> was a big success. It's already yielding valuable <sighs> information for our scientists. Fortunately, and Oh, yep, 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 yep. There is a way up. But there isn't anything up here, that's a shame. Mandarin Chinese proficiency. This place is just completely trashed. I don't think there's anything else worth exploring here. We will have a quick gander's around just to make sure. Gone in there already. And an exit. Where does this take us? I wonder if this takes us to the door downstairs that was locked. Joshua Vanstry, deceased. Got a neuromod on him though. Thanks, buddy. We'll try and put your sacrifice to good use. Floating circuit board. So, hands up if you think that despite 
us having to scuttle the station, there's going to be some form of sequel hook where something makes it off before we blow the place up. Because I'm thinking probably, like quite a high likelihood of it. Where's this brought us out? I'm completely lost. Let's have a quick look. <clears throat> Near the research and design through the skill recorder. Okay. Could we get in here before? Did we come in here before? Yeah, I think we did. And I can hear there's a mimic in there somewhere. We can actually repair this, which allows us to get up. Oh, I know where we are now. Okay, fair enough. We've ended up downstairs, which does raise a good question. Did we actually the skill recorder area? Did we explore that? I don't remember exploring that. Like in there? Did we go in there? It doesn't look like somewhere we've gone in before. Let's have a quick look, see if we can get in there. Bit of petty vandalism. No, we haven't been in here before. That's good. That's good and it's bad because we have no idea what might be waiting for us. But on the plus side, possibly Neuromods. Helen Croft. And we're out of inventory space again. We're going to have to watch what we pick up. Hadley Dalton. Also deceased. Junior Bookman. Oh, we found that guy earlier on, but we didn't find a password on him. Let's see if we can break in. Should be fairly easy. It's uh, level 2. Or maybe not. <laughs> Ow. Let's try that again. This looks like it could be an easier pattern to mm, work with. Here we go. Bit more easily done. One email. Another decontamination exercise. What do you think they found? Well, yeah, not good stuff, put it that way. I don't think there's anything else of use in here. That's a shame. I was hoping there might be a neuromod or something. There's a couple of typhon lures there, but we don't have any space for them. I wonder if it's worth us looking at upgrading our suit capacity again with our next set of mods. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I've got one more door upstairs I want to explore. After that we're going to head back towards the main lobby and go up to Psychotronics. Beer. Can't get through there because we need a level, we need either the code or level 4. And volunteer quarters. <coughs> Excuse me. This is where we want to go. Well, want being a strong term. Where are we going to head next? To put it that way. There's no power. I wonder if we can find a conduit somewhere and light this place up. Okay, I can immediately see some uh, see a mech over there and a weapon upgrade kit couple of recycler charges. We should probably be using those a little more, especially against the phantoms. Some of those phantoms are tough bastards. The more advantages we can use against them, the better. A couple of packs of shotgun shells. Excellent. We'll leave the maintenance hatch for now. Let's explore the rest of the place first. 
if I can boost my strength to be able to throw objects more powerfully. At least we know if we uh, want to get some more food, we uh, know where to get it from. Because there's a shit ton in here. This obviously went down very quickly. That's a bit dodgy. That suggests Telstar were involved in a few shady deals here and there. Oh, that's why these guys don't have names. <clears throat> They're test subjects. They weren't given names. Or were they were given names, but their names weren't recorded. I'm gonna let my flashlight recharge a little bit. Ah, the bane of my life. Inventory management. Had a bit of a conversation with Red uh, Rockhead Rumble about this in the comments. It's a real pain in the backside. I get it, it adds a bit of realism to it, but sometimes you just want to carry everything under the sun. It's not my fault you made a game where you, I want to collect everything and put it to use. It's not my fault you didn't put enough recyclers in this place. John Haskins. And another test subject, nothing on him. Can let that recharge again just for a little bit. Well, if nothing else, we've picked up a crap ton of food in here. Mix a cup. The cup is a mimic. Kill it! Kill it! Not that difficult to do. It's the phantoms that I seem to be struggling with a little bit at the moment. I could probably do with a few more upgrades to try and take them on more equally. I suppose avoiding them might also be uh, a valid alternative. <laughs> Yeah, uh, avoiding them might also be a valid alternative, depending on where they are. Just a few shotgun shells, that's good. Ha. More of those darts from earlier. I'll take the bullets, thanks. I think they've got shutters over the top. It's sort of... Uh, Give some semblance of privacy. Oh, a few disruptor batteries, that's handy. Another used cigar, because who doesn't want to carry around used cigars with them? Uh, no, nothing up here. No, nothing in there, and nothing there. I should have leverage skills to force this open. There we go. That's the that's the other question. The um, the recording of us said that the Typhon are part of us now. So what exactly has been going on with the neuromods that we weren't previously aware of? Hmm? I wonder. 
There's one more hatch back here that we could take a look at now. I know they, they, we found some logs saying that they were experimenting with them. So that would suggest that they're a part of the current Neuromod system. Which is a bit of a concern. Let's try and make a bit of a bridge. Alright, that should do it. There we go. I forgot I've got a bit of a glide system. I forgot that from that we picked up before our spacewalk. There's another Oh shit, there's quite a few in there. Don't think we froze it. I think it got away. And now it's trapped under the desk. Not getting under that one. Again, why is the why is the mimic carrying pistol bullets? What possible reason? Divyanas deceased and something. Oh, chipset. Okay, what's we got? What is this? Increases your movement speed while sneaking. Yes, please. Four slots, four chips. Good, good. And Rich Ivers. Who, I'm not sure we can take any of this. Ah, he's got quite a few AMP charges on him, so we'll take those. Not quite a few. He's got one on him. But still, of use. I think there was one more mimic that we saw on our screen, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for that one. Because I know I've only killed the two. Christ, that's quite a, there's quite a few of them. Here, have this. Christ, they don't stun for long, do they? Where is my disruptor? Pistol actually works really well against those. Same again. Where's the disruptor? What the hell is that? I have no idea what it is, but it's big, it's ugly, and it doesn't go down easy. Let's hit it with a grenade. What the hell is that thing? Oh, that did it. Direct hit. And given us a shit ton of material to work with. 
Christ, that was tough. But we're not going to come up against too many of those without some more powerful weapons to take them on with. So we're in fabrication. This is a completely new area to us. So, yeah, remember what I said about uh, quickly investigating where we started out and then maybe heading to Psychotronics? I don't think that's going to happen this episode, I'm sorry to say. There's still a lot for us to be exploring in this area. Something com somewhere completely different, completely unexpected. Which is great. That's what I love about these games. You can get sidetracked really easily into doing just so many different things. And we've got a recycler, which is great, because we could do with ditching some of our stuff. Actually, a lot of our stuff, if it wasn't broken, which hopefully we can repair it. We can! Good! Let's get it up and running. Just like that, we freed up a little bit of inventory space. It's not massive, but it's it's a start. Is that two different types of bullets for the pistol? No, it's just you can only have so many in one place. Okay, fair enough. Right, let's get this stuff recycled. Shit ton of material. Excellent, 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 excellent. We're in fabrication. We might be able to find something new here. Something useful, something that might help us tip the balance in our favour. See, like I was saying earlier on, there's obviously something going on with us, otherwise what's that weird stuff surrounding us when we uh, force the doors open like that? Makes you wonder. And I'm sure we'll find out in due course. There's a lot of this game still to go. And I probably could have run through it a lot faster. Um, one of my friends texted me earlier on to say that Prey's basically been beaten in 10 minutes on the speed run, but where's the fun in that? You know, part of the whole point of this sort of game, the whole, yeah, the whole thing behind it is just, it's exploration. Seeing what you can find, seeing what you can discover. What's the point in that if you're just going to blow through it in a few minutes? A little bit more to do here. Fabrication room... Yeah, this is new to us. Which means I'm probably going to be taking another trip back to the fabricate, uh, back to the recycler before we leave this area. <laughs> Just checking. Can't be too careful with mimics about. <laughs> Speaking of mimics, I'll try this destroying the cup just to make sure. But not this time. I've got a body out there. I'll go and see what that is in a minute. I'll see who that is in a minute. Let's see if we can get upstairs as well. Frederick Steele. Ah, cool. We got a key code for a key card for Holden Graves' office. We passed through that, I think, earlier on, or passed by it. Where was it? Mm, somewhere around. This is completely different. I think, yeah, haven't been here yet. Oh, it's decontamination. So where's that going to lead us? Back out into the main area, into the... Okay... Can we get an idea? No, okay. Fine. Oh, this will lead us back outside. Okay, fine. Yep, good. No, come on, I've just been decontaminated. Oh, ready. Decontaminated. We through the down door. Tina Snow. 
There's the fabrication room again, which we've cleared. Although, let's have a look up here. Synthetic material. Ah, great. Let's... Yeah, I don't think we can actually put that to use. Not going to need the anti-rad for now. We're going to grab a medkit. Because <coughs> it's always useful. Uh, a few more shotgun shells. And some more 9mm bullets. I wonder if we can get a fabrication plan for neuromods later in the game, because that's just going to break things. It's going to make it so easy. I'm trying to remember exactly where Holden Graves' office was as well. Ah, there we go. Right there is where it is. I knew it was around somewhere. What a lovely office. Revoking Neuromod Fabrication Licenses. You may continue fabricating Neuromods under the current license. Fabrication doors. We've already broken through that anyway. Ari, uh, re exotic materials. Well then, where do you th where do you think it comes from? You're sitting on the station's largest store of it, and you haven't wondered what it is they have us injecting into our frontal lobes. You're brilliant, Graves, but you have the mind of an engineer. Good at answering questions, but not asking them. Second guessing the use never struck you until you saw the report from Psychotronics. Did you? Did it, Helen? Missing Neuromods. We have four Neuromods here in the test labs. We've received four, signed for four, and there are four in our secured storage. If you're saying you shipped seven, I advise you take it up with security and your delivery personnel. This isn't the first time Neuromods have gone missing somewhere between fabrication and testing. Ah, ah indeed. Fuck me. I, I still have no idea what those things are, because they're not your standard run in the mill. Oh shit. Does that mean all of the, all of the neuromods, the technology that allows it to, to be installed in our brains, is that all from the Typhons? Sorry, Holden. That would explain why... Oh, yeah, there you go. Neuromod fabrication plan. That would explain why the recording of ourselves said that it was a part of us. Mio, uh, this is... Um, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in. Uh, or you're ignoring me. I, I just want to... Well, I, I will be a little late for my shift tomorrow, but um, uh, the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro lens array. You see, the, the old one is its garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. <laughs> Rest bearing your mind. I think we're coming up to the end of this particular episode. Sad to say we haven't made a huge amount of progress. We've explored a lot, but we haven't made a lot of progress in general, which is not great. I'll see if I can speed things up next time around. Next time we will hit psychotronics, I promise you. There, yeah, you require... Is that... I wonder... See, the the purple stuff, is that exotic material? Yes, it is. That, yeah, that really confirms my thoughts. I think whatever it is that allows us to install the Neuromods is, or comes from the Typhons. 
I've actually got quite a shit ton of material, so I'm going to put a few to use here and get some neuromods to finish off this episode. Like I said, get too many of them, it becomes broken. See about using the recharger. Uh, yeah, the re the recycler charges a bit more often, and seeing if we can't um, absorb a few of those typhons that are out there. So we've got some neuro mods that we can put to use. I'm gonna. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna upgrade to hacking level four. Four hours into the game, and we can hack pretty much anything we come across. You gotta love it. Right, that's where we're gonna leave this particular episode, ladies and gentlemen. We are still in fabrication, but next episode we are heading down to Psychotronics, back through the lobby into Psychotronics. Thank you very much for watching. If you've uh, enjoyed this video, like it, leave me a comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Good. We are going to head towards the lifts, which will take us to Psychotronics. That's our next stop. And if I get the opportunity, I think I've got some weapon upgrade kits. Let's see if we can put them to good use. I'm going to upgrade the shotgun to carry another ammo, uh, another round of ammo in the, in the clip. And yeah, didn't, didn't think we'd be able to upgrade the wrench. That would just be a bit silly. Handling, maybe the pistol. Yeah, we're gonna get the pistol upgraded as well. We're gonna need gunsmith one for a lot of the rest of the upgrades that we want to put in. Um, I don't know whether we're gonna go for that or not. We don't have many. Well, we don't have any neuro mods at the moment, and we do require a few for that. We'll see how we get on. So aiming to go downstairs there, psychotronics. Not liking the sound of that. There's something around. Where's the quickest way to get down there? It's probably actually the way that we've come this way. Through Morgan's office and down the stairs. Should be able to drop from this height without yep, any damage at all. Any full damage. No full damage from this height. Despite the fact, well, I don't know, you could probably fall from that height and not cause yourself injury. I wouldn't want to try it, but you could probably do it. We already know that down here has been pretty much cleared out, thanks to our lovely turret friend from earlier. See, even coming down here now, I'm realising there's bits and pieces we missed the first and second time through. It's good in some ways, not in others. I'm going to hit the security office, which is up here, before we go to Psychotronics, before we go to the new area. Because <clears throat> I want to see how we're doing on finding the members of the station. The crew. There's still quite a few. There's still a few that are alive. We haven't seen them, so we're going to have to keep an eye out. There are a lot of life signs still unaccounted for. And I might double try, uh, double back through those at some point. Oops. But for now, yeah, we're going to leave it for now. So we're going to head to Psychotronics, which is a completely new area to us. God knows what we might encounter. Poor hacking skill, that's, that's quite high. There's the Phantom. This one's level 2, we can get through there, but we don't actually need to because we've got the code. We've got the code. <laughs> Press the wrong button there, that's what I needed to do. Hit the number pad to type that in quickly. We're going to go and take care of that Phantom first. Oh, 
Well, that probably could have gone better. But it certainly could have gone worse. Fortunately, we can put to use some of this food that we've been picking so much up of. Having said that, we are blowing through it at a rate of knots. Mm hmm, okay. Have to keep some eye, uh, keep an eye out for some more. That's weird. This guy doesn't have a name. And this is somewhere we didn't experience earlier on. This is not somewhere we found. Hooray for exploration and new areas! Don't know if anything will be up here. Another hatch over there. There's a guy over there. And. Okay, good, I can walk on this. Up that one, I'll try and get it in a second. Junior Bookman, corpse, not much on him, not much of use. Okay, so we're gonna head back in this direction and see where the other maintenance hatch takes us. Locked, locked from the other side. Shoot, that's a shame. Well, the room that we opened a minute ago with the access code may give us access into the, that part. There's also one more... Okay, it's in the other room. There's one more room. And this is a level 2, so we're going to give it a go. Probably could have gone better. But it certainly could have gone worse. Fortunately, we can put to use some of this food that we've been picking so much up of. Having said that, we are blowing through it at a rate of knots. Mm hmm, okay. Have to keep, some eye, uh, keep an eye out for some more. That's weird. This guy doesn't have a name. And this is somewhere we didn't experience earlier on. This is not somewhere we found. Hooray for exploration and new areas! Don't know if anything will be up here. Another hatch over there. There's a guy over there. And Okay, good, I can walk on this. Can't pick up that one, I'll try and get it in a second. Junior Bookman. Corpse, not much on him. Not much of use. Okay, so we're going to head back in this direction and see where the other maintenance hatch takes us. Locked. Locked from the other side. Shoot. That's a shame. Well, the room that we opened a minute ago with the access code may give us access into the, that part. There's also one more... Okay, it's in the other room. There's one more room. And this is a level 2, so we're going to give it a go. And there we go. Took a bit of a shock, but got through it. 
let's explore this room uh, this way first, shall we? This is volunteer testing. Okay. Volunteer testing for what? Floating circuit board. So, hands up if you think that despite us having to scuttle the station, there's going to be some form of sequel hook where something makes it off before we blow the place up. Because I'm thinking probably, like quite a high likelihood of it. Where's this brought us out? I'm completely lost. Let's have a quick look. <clears throat> Near the research and design through the skill recorder, okay. Could we get in here before? Did we come in here before? Yeah, I think we did. And I can hear there's a mimic in there somewhere. We can actually repair this. allows us to get us oh I know where we are now okay fair enough we've ended up downstairs which does raise a good question did we actually the skill recorder area did we explore that I don't remember exploring that like in there did we go in there it doesn't look like somewhere we've gone in before let's have a quick look see if we can get in there Bit of petty vandalism. No, we haven't been in here before. That's good. That's good, and it's bad because we have no idea what might be waiting for us. But on the plus side, possibly neuromods. Helen Croft. And we're out of fucking inventory space again. So we're going to have to watch what we pick up. Hadley Dalton, also deceased. Junior Bookman. Oh, we found that guy earlier on, but we didn't find a password on him. Let's see if we can break in. Should be fairly easy. It's a uh, level two. Or maybe not. So that would suggest that they're part of the current Neuromod system, which is a bit of a concern. Let's try and make a bit of a bridge. Alright, that should do it. There we go. I forgot I've got a bit of a glide system. I forgot that from that we picked up before our spacewalk. There's another Ooh shit, there's quite a few in there. Damn it, don't think we froze it. I think it got away. And now it's trapped under the desk. Not getting into that one. Again, why is the why is the mimic carrying pistol bullets? What possible reason? Divya Nas Deceased and something oh chipset. Okay, what's we got? What is this? Increases your movement speed while sneaking. Yes, please. Four slots, four chips. 
good, good. And rich ivories. You, I'm not sure we can take any of this. Ah, he's got quite a few EMP charges on him, so we'll take those. Not quite a few, he's got one on him. But still, of use. I think there was one more mimic that we saw on our screen, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for that one. Because I know I've only killed the two. Christ, that's quite a there's quite a few of them. Here, have this. Yeah, I think we did. And I can hear there's a mimic in there somewhere. We can actually repair this. Which allows us to get up to Oh, I know where we are now. Okay, fair enough. We've ended up downstairs. Which does raise a good question. Did we actually... The skill recorder area. Did we explore that? I don't remember exploring that. Like in there. Did we go in there? It doesn't look like somewhere we've gone in before. Let's have a quick look, see if we can get in there. Bit of petty vandalism. No, we haven't been in here before. That's good. That's good and it's bad because we have no idea what might be waiting for us. But on the plus side, possibly Neuromods. Helen Croft. And we're out of in inventory space again. We're going to have to watch what we pick up. Hadley Dalton. Also deceased. Junior Bookman. Oh, we found that guy earlier on, but we didn't find a password on him. Let's see if we can break in. Should be fairly easy. It's uh, level 2. Or maybe not. Ow. Let's try that again. This looks like it could be an easier pattern to work with. Here we go. Bit more easily done. One email. Another decontamination exercise. What do you think they found? Well, yeah, not good stuff, put it that way. I don't think there's anything else of use in here. That's a shame. I was hoping there might be a Neuromod or something. There's a couple of Typhon lures there, but we don't have any space for them. I wonder if it's worth us looking at upgrading our suit capacity again. I don't think there's anything else of use in here. That's a shame. I was hoping there might be a Neuromod or something. There's a couple of Typhon lures there, but we don't have any space for them. I wonder if it's worth us looking at upgrading our suit capacity again with our next set of mods. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I've got one more door upstairs I want to explore. After that, we're going to head back towards the main lobby and go up to Psychotronics. Here. Try and get through there, because we need a level we need either the code or level four. And 
volunteer quarters. <coughs> Excuse me. This is where we want to go. Well, want being a strong term. Where are we going to head next? Put it that way. There's no power. I wonder if we can find a conduit somewhere and light this place up. Okay, I can immediately see some uh, see a mech over there and a weapon upgrade kit. A couple of recycler charges. We should probably be using those a little more, especially against the phantoms. Some of those phantoms are tough bastards. The more advantages we can use against them, the better. A couple of packs of shotgun shells. Excellent. We'll leave the maintenance hatch for now. Let's explore the rest of the place first. I can boost my strength to be able to throw objects more powerfully. At least we know if we uh, want to get some more food, we uh, know where to get it from. Because there's a shit ton in here. This obviously went down very quickly. That's a bit dodgy. That suggests Telstar were involved in a few shady deals here and there. Oh, that's why these guys don't have names. <clears throat> They're test subjects. They weren't given names. Or were well, they were given names, but their names weren't recorded. I'm going to let my flashlight recharge a little bit. go and take care of those guys, shall we? Source of fabrication, which we can't get into. We need level 4 access and we have no keycard for it. That's a shame. Level 4 hacking skill, that's that's quite high. There's the phantom. This one's level 2, we can get through there, but we don't actually need to because we've got the code. We've got the code. Press the wrong button there, that's what I needed to do. Hit the number pad to type that in quickly. We're going to go and take care of that phantom first. Probably could have gone better. But it certainly could have gone worse. Fortunately, we can put to use some of this food that we've been picking so much up of. Having said that, we are blowing through it at a rate of knots. Mm hmm, okay. Have to keep some eye, uh, keep an eye out for some more. That's weird. This guy doesn't have a name. And this is somewhere we didn't experience earlier on. This is not somewhere we found. Hooray for exploration and new areas! Don't know if anything will be up here. There's another hatch over there. There's a guy over there. And Okay, good, I can walk on this. Can't pick up that one, I'll try and get it in a second. Junior Bookman. Corpse, not much on him. Not much of use. Okay, so we're gonna head back in this direction and see where the other maintenance hatch takes us. Locked. Locked from the other side. Shoot. That's a shame. Well, the room that we opened a minute ago with the 
access code may give us access into the, that part. There's also one more. Okay, it's in the other room. There we go. I forgot I've got a bit of a glide system. I forgot that from that we picked up before our spacewalk. There's another oh shit, there's quite a few in there. Damn it, don't think we froze it. I think it got away. And now it's trapped under the desk. Not getting into that one. Again, why is the why is the mimic carrying pistol bullets? What possible reason? Divyanya Nas Deceased and something oh chipset. Okay, what's what we got? What is this? Increases your movement speed while sneaking. Yes, please. Four slots, four chips. Good, good. And Rich Ivers. Who, I'm not sure we can take any of this. Ah, he's got quite a few AMP charges on him, so we'll take those. Not quite a few, he's got one on him. But still, of use. I think there was one more mimic that we saw on our screen, so we're going to have to keep an eye out for that one. Because I know I've only killed the two. Christ, that's quite a, there's quite a few of them. Here, have this. Christ, they don't stun for long, do they? Where is my disruptor? Pistol actually works really well against those. The report from Psychotronics. Did you? Did it, Helen? Missing neuromods. We have four neuromods here in the test labs. We've received four, signed for four, and there are four in our secure storage. If you're saying you shipped seven, I advise you take it up with security and your delivery personnel. This isn't the first time neuromods have gone missing somewhere between fabrication and testing. Ah, indeed. Fuck me. Die. I still have no idea what those things are. Because they're not your standard run in the mill. Oh, shit. Does that mean all of the... All of the neuromods, the technology that allows it to to be installed in our brains, is that all from the Typhons? Sorry, Halden. That would explain why... Oh, yeah, there you go. Neuromod fabrication plan. That would explain why the recording of ourselves said that it was a part of us. Mio, uh, this is, um, this is Dr. Calvino. Ah, well, I suppose you've turned in, uh, or you're ignoring me. I, I just want to, well, I, I will be a, a little late for my shift tomorrow, but, um, 
the, the first thing in the morning, I want you to put together a new micro lens array. You see, the, the old one is it's garbage. And uh, get what you need from the machine shop. And if Clive is being an ass, just take it from the supply closet when he's not looking. Uh, we're not supposed to know the code, but, uh, well, uh, I'm sending it to you anyway. <laughs> Just bearing in mind. I think we're coming up to the end of this particular episode. Sad to say we haven't made a huge amount of progress. We've explored a lot, but we haven't made a lot of progress in general, which is not great. I'll see if I can speed things up next time around. Next time we will hit psychotronics, I promise you. There, yeah, you require... Is that... I wonder... See, the, the purple stuff, is that exotic material? Yes, it is. That, yeah, that really confirms my thoughts. I think... Whatever it is that allows us to install the Neuromods... Is... Or comes from the Typhons. I've actually got quite a lot to carry another ammo, uh, another round of ammo in the, in the clip. And yeah, didn't, didn't think we'd be able to upgrade the wrench, that would just be a bit silly. Mm. Handling, maybe the pistol. Yeah. We're going to get the pistol upgraded as well. We're going to need Gunsmith 1 for a lot of the rest of the upgrades that we want to put in. Um, I don't know whether we're going to go for that or not. We don't have many... Well, we don't have any Neuromods at the moment. And we do require a few for that. We'll see how we get on. So we're aiming to go downstairs there. Psychotronics. Not liking the sound of that. Something around. Where's the quickest way to get down there? It's probably actually the way that we've come this way. Through Morgan's office and down the stairs. Should be able to drop from this height without yep, any damage at all. Any fall damage. No fall damage from this height. <clears throat> Despite the fact well, I don't know, you could probably fall from that height and not cause yourself injury. I wouldn't want to try it, but you could probably do it. We already know that down here has been pretty much cleared out, thanks to our lovely turret friend from earlier. See, even coming down here now, I'm realising there's bits and pieces we missed the first and second time through. It's good in some ways, not in others. I'm going to hit the security office, which is up here, before we go to Psychotronics, before we go to the new area. Because <clears throat> I want to see how we're doing on finding the members of the station. Room. There's still quite a few. There's still a few that are alive. We haven't seen them, so we're going to have to keep an eye out. There are a lot of life signs still unaccounted for. And I might double, try, double back through those at some point. Oops. But for now... Yeah, we're going to leave it for now. So we're going to head Psychotronics. Which is a completely new area to us. God knows what we might encounter. All we know is that it's where the uh, Typhon first broke containment. Good morning, Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. If you're having May trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to...